How you doing everyone? Welcome back to All The Mods 8. In today's episode, we are going to do some building ga- Well, we're going to craft some building gadgets. I I'm going to need it, basically, because I kind of want to create some space in my valley, and it is a perfect opportunity to kind of mess around with building gadgets if we can. Uh, hopefully, I've got enough ingredients to be able to do this. I think I have, because it's relatively cheap in the uh, mod pack right now. So... Without further ado, before we do that though, there is a couple of things I kind of want to craft. Um, that is, maybe, maybe we don't have to craft it. I mean, hmm, yeah, I, 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 let's see how much um, clay I've got. Not enough. I don't think I've got enough clay. So I wanted to, so botany pots, um, remember, I don't know if you guys remember, let's have a quick sleep a minute. Um, there's, oh, there's loads of little things I want to get out of the way first, actually, before we get on to building gadgets. And, um, yeah, there's a quest book now. And I I, I started uh, redeeming my rewards without you guys, so I stopped. And I was an idiot. I placed this block, and I don't have my netherite pickaxe anymore. However, I've seen in the comments that you guys reckon that there's... Uh, a refined obsidian pickaxe, I think. Ah, oh, that there it is. Mechanism uh, tools. I don't know if no. I don't even know if we can actually refine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, can we actually do this now? Okay, we don't have an osmium compressor. However, a crusher. Yeah, th this is a little bit beyond us right now, but. Um, if you if you guys want to mine, um, I think I should set this up just so we can break that block in a, in a future episode. Um, I'm going to get this set up actually so that we can actually put it to the test and see if it actually is the way forward. Because if you guys are wondering how to avoid the nether altogether, then apparently refi uh, a refined obsidian pickaxe from Mechanism is pretty much the way to go you guys have said this multiple times in my comments but we need to make an osmium compressor so how do we make that it's not too bad i mean that's actually pretty pretty neat i'll get that set up for a future episode for sure and then we'll put it to the test and see if we can break that um for the best part it is a it is actually cheaper so let's have a look again so to get to get this osmium compressor we need what i'm just having a look buckets a, a bit of steel, which is um, basically iron dust and coal. A bit of osmium. That's, that's still cheap at the moment. Uh, I keep needing to go back. Where is my pickaxe gone? Uh, this one. And... Yeah, so we need that. But we need to make the refined dust. And to be able to make the refined dust, we need to get obsidian dust. So we need a metallurgic infuser, which we do actually have, but we could probably make another one. They are relatively cheap. Um, but we need obsidian dust, but we just need to put... Ooh, an enrichment chamber. So we need an enrichment chamber. So you need about three machines, maybe, to get it going. Um, and you just need... Yeah, you can avoid the nether altogether, I think. So I'm going to probably get that set up for a future episode for sure. Because you guys have said it multiple times and it's like I'm ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. It's I I read comments and I forget about them. And then when it comes up in my Let's Play, it, it kind of it reminds me. I look like I've read this before. I've seen this before. And you guys are saying, refine pickaxe for the win for that. So I, I will look at, into that, I promise. Um... But today, I definitely want to get something out out the way. Because at the moment, I've noticed while I'm off camera, uh, we're getting a lot of strays like turning up in this biome. In this biome, we get lots of strays. There's one over there, look. See? Um, they just naturally spawn. So there is a way that we can avoid that straight away. And then we're going we're gonna to make a mega torch, I hope. Um, a mega torch would be cool, but they are quite expensive. Three torches, and they're not that expensive. So we need... Two of you. Uh, we need about 18 of you. Uh, we need three torches. Um, that is it, isn't it? Oh, two, two logs. 
two logs, and we need to put these uh, ingots into blocks. Like that. And then, boosh, we've got a mega torch. So yeah, prevents natural spawning of hostile monsters in big radiuses around the torch. I think it's about 50 or so like blocks, something stupid like that. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting these map waypoints again. I will look into this, but I do forget. I do forget. I forget to remove these um, waystone waypoints. Um, yeah, because there's been multiple updates. This, this, is, this pack's been updating a load. In fact, can I... Do you reckon I can risk a ender pearl to get up there? I'll take two. We've got loads. Well, we got ten more. Like, let's see if I can get it in one hit. I kind of want to put it up the top there. No. Way too low. Oh, I nearly died. Okay, can we get up here, like, this way? Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, one more. That should do it. I kind of want to put it up here. Just because it's out of the way and tidy. Can I... There we go. So now, any new spawns will not spawn. I think that stray that we saw will still be there. I don't think it cancels mobs out. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm going to die. Let's just quickly eat. Let's get low as we can here. Yeah, we should survive that. So yeah, I've been wanting to do that for ages. So we can tick that off our cheat, uh, off our sheet thing here. Um, botany pots. Yeah, the only thing I was going to show you, and I probably will just do this off camera now, is you can actually there's there's botany trees now in the pack, and you you can actually swap out. Not only do these pots do seeds, they used to only do seeds, and now you can put a bit of dirt in and the tree of your choice, and all good. That doesn't work. Okay. And we've got another C. Nice. Uh, we will get back to mystical agriculture. I'm kind of, as I'm playing off camera, this is kind of doing its thing. And accumulating loads of Inferium Essence. And as you can see, I'm lining up um, some some things for that. But we're not quite there yet. Um, what else was I, I was going to say? Oh yeah, we're going to do, yeah, quests. So they, they've added quests. They, they said that this is still a very much a work in progress. But that's fine. Uh, I've re redeemed this one. That you, this is like oh dear. This is like the the welcome to all the mods eight. And then you've got all the modium. I I kind of redeemed this one. This is why we got the block. And I put it down. And you know, I'm an idiot because I don't know how. To, I can't pickaxe it now. But um, we got this one, so we can get some one to three. Or from this and 100 XP. Nice. For some reason, we got the all the modern helmet reward. How does that even work? I mean, why are you giving me all this? I I don't remember. I I I'm, I I'll take it, but I have not crafted any of that. I haven't crafted this. I mean, I feel a bit wrong for taking this but look we got six of these guys right so the best way is to what can we get three out of these hmm three gives you four purification chamber one gives you two but uh enrichment chamber so we got six we might as well put it in the enrichment chamber, eh? Just to get a little bit more. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know what's going on there. That's I feel like that's broken, but I'm going to take it. Because, you know, that's that's the payment for kind of quote-unquote beta testing, I guess. I don't even think it's in beta at this point. Um, what have we got here? So we've got tips and tricks. We made a sink, so we got paid for that. Okay, not, not a lot. That's a fluid pipe. That's a bit rubbish, if I'm honest. And then we got the bounty board. So we've been killing lots of mobs. 
I don't recall killing Withers, but I will take it. Unless... I wonder if it's because of um, all the mod 7. Like, they've... They've still... The files from all the mod 7 are still in there, and... Oh, I feel a bit cheaty. I feel a bit cheaty, but it doesn't matter. It's all for the Let's Play, right? It's all gonna be on camera for you guys anyway. I mean, I've, lo I've lost a lot. So... Oh, I could do with that, definitely. So, we killed... I've definitely killed, been killing Blazers. Uh, creepers. Don't need that so much. Don't really need them either. These are rubbish loot, really, for me at the moment. Oh, you get some uh, iron out of that, though. Okay, so this is all for just killing mobs. What's this? Kill the... Oh, I get a pedestal. Okay. So lots of rewards going on here. Oh, wow. That is a lot. Have I got my backpack on? Oh, yeah, I have, because I want to do building stuff today. Uh, building gadgets. We want we want to do... I want to kind of create three items today. Uh, let's get you away. And let's put the, that away. You can go in there. Oh, you can go in there. That and there. That, that and there. Hmm. Yeah, so we're getting all these... Oh, we're getting loads more. Um, what else have we got? Basic storage. Okay, we've definitely been doing that this Let's Play. Oh, we get them back. Nice. Actually, that could actually help us out. Maybe not now. Could do with some more diamonds. I'm not going to lie. Um, but finding diamonds in my mining dimension is pretty tricky. Mystical agriculture, huh? Okay, not, not a great deal going on there. Any more? No, I think that's it. I think that is it. Oh, we get four. 36. Yeah, I need like 41 or 42. So I'm a bit shy. Just gonna punk this over here for now. And the book can go in there. That can go in there. And that can go in. Oh. That can go in there. Get rid of you. Tiny TNT. Applied energistics. Um yeah. I think I think we're up to speed now. So I'm not gonna do botany pots. I'm gonna actually gonna leave that. I've just basically... So, yeah, you can now do seeds and now you can do trees. I will be setting that up at some point, maybe in the future, but I will just kind of show you that I've built them. I don't have a lot of clay at the moment, but yeah, that is a thing now. Um, also, I mentioned in a pre previous episode, while I have some toast, that um, apotheosis is in the pack, which allows you to silk touch. I was wrong, it's not. Someone politely in the comments said it's not in this pack. And I was like, really? I swear I saw it. So I went and double checked. And yeah, Apotheosis is not in this pack. I, I, I'm I, pretty sure I said it was, and it's not. Um, so I do apologize. I don't even know what, what made me say that it is in there, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's let's start off with the building gadgets here. Oh yeah, this is going to eat up our diamonds, but this is really cheap in comparison to what it is in all the mod seven. So if you guys are playing this pack, it is definitely grind it out r as quickly as you can because if you grind out some of this stuff, you're going to get a lot cheaper recipes for doing so. Uh, I think that's it, right? Oh, a bit of lapis. We got, we got, we got all of that. Um, yeah, because I need lots of diamonds. Because I want to get the quarry going. That's one thing I definitely want to get going. Uh, so we're going to make a building gadget. So the building gadget is just a bit of iron, a couple of diamonds, redstone, and lapis. And that's we're going to build that. We'll get to that in a minute. If you don't know what it is, the exchanging gadget again, similar ingredients. We're good. So we're going to make that as well. And the destruction gadget. Ooh, that's a little bit different. That's going to eat a couple of ender pearls, but that's fine. Um, uh, destruction one, right? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Destruction gadget. And we've got some tasks done. Have we got any rewards? No. 
do some diamonds back if I'm honest. It's night, so we're we'll asleep. So hopefully now by putting that mega torch up on the on the top of the tower there, it will enable us to for me to not get attacked every time I leave the house, which is nice. Um, we're gonna literally go to this energy cube because it's basically a battery, and we're gonna just do this, and then that should fill up nicely. In fact, have we got energy in our thing yet? No. Oh, yeah, I want to upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. We are actually going to use all of our diamonds up at this point. So we've got a gold backpack. I don't know. Those with the keen eye probably noticed this one. In fact, I'm going to swap them out so I don't use any more diamonds. I'm going to use this one, this, this gold one. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to swap them around. This is going to be my main. So we're going to take this out and put that in here like so. And as you can see, there's some energy in there. If we click on this, I've already got stored energy. and I don't know how I've done it. I think I've done it in an episode. But if we put this in the battery slot here, that will automatically charge it and drain our battery inside of our backpack. Sadly, there's not a lot in there to really justify that being worth it. But we can charge this up. So I'm going to keep the diamond dac the diamond dac pack. What's a diamond dac pack? Uh, the diamond backpack. Um, we're going to keep this. Look at that. I love it. I love the fact that it's got like this little. It turns like like if you put a tank on this as well, it kind of looks like Ghostbusters proton pack. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this one for mining, and when we get the uh, quarry going, that'd be cool. I'll probably upgrade that when we get some more diamonds. But for the best part. We're good. I'm going to put all this stuff away because we don't need that. And we're going to put this backpack on. Because today we are going to be doing some real boring stuff. But it, it kind of gives me the it gives me the chance to uh, show you guys how to do stuff, I think. I might have to do some hotkeys. So destruction one can go in. That's cool. It doesn't take too long. I mean, there's how much in here? Yeah. This, we might use it all up. But let's get some... Let's get some other blocks as well. Cobble would be a good idea. So we get a couple of stacks there, or four. In fact, I'm going to take this bag with us, because I need all that dirt. And there is a purpose for this. And I, I thought... Rather than do this off camera, is it be good? They, these are really good tools. Like, trust me on this. They're really good tools once you know how. That's replenishing pretty quick. Uh, that's only half a million in there. That's just good. So we might be able to do that. Yeah, we're, we're going to be all right here. So, yeah. Not going to be much left. But by the time we come back and use this cube, it's going to be all good. Right, let's go and, let's have, go and have a look. Finally, we're going to go and do... Wait, the textures are different? How long have they been like that? I don't know. So down here, I want to kind of flatten out a little bit. I kind of want to make it so that we can use it to... Um, I kind of want to have it the same as where the hut was in all the mod 7. So there used to be some huts here. And I'm going to try and take out that enderman. Because we've just used some ender pearls, And I kind of want to... Of course he's gone. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, damn it. Okay. I kind of want to make it this Y level, right? So, oh, I'll tell you a good idea. Yeah, we're going to do we're gonna do the exchanging one first. Because I can show you. Right. So, what we do is we're going to get the exchange exchanging tool. And it's exactly as you'd think, right? So, we want to exchange anything into dirt so sneak right click if i'm correct and it says block dirt in green there right so is it still the same right let me just quickly go to my configs i like to have it like i can't remember what it is by default but let's go down to building gadgets and the settings menu is default 
key. I'm going to have it as that. as what I had it on all the mods. Seven. And then when I hold it, we get this interface come up. So what I want to do is I want to have it as surface, which is fine. But we're going to have it up to 15, range 15. Because what this is going to do, because we sneak, we sneak right click and it selects the block. So at the moment, can you see the dirt like blueprint thing going on here? If we were to do uh, sneak uh, right click on cobble, it will replace everything with cobble. Okay, so right click. And all that dirt is getting replaced with cobble because we sneak right clicked on the cobble. If we sneak right click on the um, on the dirt here, we can literally turn it back to dirt. Same goes for that. Same goes for that. And it does it by, a f I think it's a 15 by 15 square. So we can just literally exchange all of this out. I mean, th there is like... Load, there's more features than this, but this is basically what it does, right? You can make a vertical column. Where is it? Okay, maybe not. Um, and horizontal column. It kind of just fills it in. It's a bit... Okay. The building tool is way, way easier. Um, I, I use Surface, to be honest. I think that's the best one. And you can just replace any block that you want. Especially if there's a massive patch and you don't want that. Like, see this path block? I don't want path blocks there. I want dirt. See? All good. And I think you get the blocks back. But my inventory is full, so it's dropping it all over the floor. So that's the, ex that's the exchanging one. That's really cool to have. I always keep it in my backpack. And then we've got the destruction one. I don't really want to use this if I'm honest. Um, but let's hold the same button down. I think you right click, sneak right click. Yeah. So if you sneak right click in uh, like anywhere, um, it's going to give you dimensions. I always do it like from, let's do this. Like that. So what's that? One, two, three, four by three. Four by three. So let's do a three by three, actually, just to make things a little bit easier. As an example, right? So what we want to do is sneak right click. And I always do it from the corner outwards. So if we aim at this dirt block here, right? Sneak right click. We want to go uh, a depth of one. So we want it one block deep, which basically can. It, it, it's just this. So if we were to do that and then aim it, the red highlights what it's going to get destroyed. If we were to sneak right click and put depth 2, you're not going to... Is that not right? Depth... Oh, I didn't confirm it. There you go. Depth 2, that means it's going to go two blocks deep. Okay? We're going to keep it at depth 2 just to, just to showcase. And then what we're going to do is... Rather than make it, I make it so that you go from like the left or right corner outwards. So you, when it comes to like left and up, like not the depth, um, sorry, right in this case. If you do right one, it always adds one from the, your target block. So you kind of got to go one short. So in this case, we want to go out two. We don't want to go out three because that's too far. Uh, to get this precise, we want to go right to, up to, like that. And then when we right click, it will destroy it. So you can literally destroy large amounts of terrain really easily. Um, I'm not going to do that now because, you know, I, I don't need to use this. But I may use this in the future and you may see me use this in the future. So the destruction tool is very powerful. Um, it does eat up a lot of energy, but um, yes, yeah, so you'd be you'd be depending on how much you you kind of destroy. I'm pretty sure by default. I don't know if you can change it in the configs, but you do not get the blocks back if you destroy with the uh, destruction tool. I don't use it all that often, but it is really good for clearing out areas. So I highly recommend it if you want to dig out a big area and you've got like. 
uh, power. If you got your power sorted, you, you're good here, right? So that's that's pretty pretty cool. It's gonna get dark real soon, so I'm gonna actually sleep and get rid of this rain. But um, the main reason I wanted to do all this on camera today is, oh, hang on a minute, I gotta use this one. And we're gonna use surface. Surface. So tool mode surface. We want to go. Or can we just go? We want to build to me. I always click build build to me, and then we're gonna have it like the max. So let's have a look. See if we can get on with this. Oh, we need to assign a block to it. So again, sneak right click, and then we should start seeing a pattern like that. See? Can you see? So because I've done build to me, is it? Is it time to sleep yet? Because it's I feel like it's getting harder to demonstrate. Okay. Now, word of warning, they will probably change the recipes of these gadgets. So I highly recommend if you're playing this pack, do it now. Um, because I'm pretty sure in all the mod 7 you needed all the modium. Can I do a surface to me? No, it's not quite working out as, as I want. Okay, so I'm a little bit fuzzy on how this works. You don't want fuzzy. No. That's, you want... Mm, no, we want surface. We don't want fuzzy. We could do a horizontal wall built to me. And that's not even going to do it. Anyways, the purpose of this is, regardless of how you do this, I'm pretty sure you can do a flat surface. Surface, build to me. Why is it not going like a big flat? You definitely don't want grid. You want surface, vertical column, build to me. Meh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, anyways, it's still a lot quicker. We want to get rid of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a way to make it um, flat and like a big... Um, get rid of all this. And that. Regardless, this is really quick. Like, you can just literally spam it like that. And if you do to you, then it will be pretty safe to do so. And then what I'm going to be doing off camera is I'm literally going to be doing this. Like, look how quick that is. I'm not even going to, like, fill in all the flowers. Because all I want to do is get to this point. I could be lazy and just do this. And just, like, fill it in from there. It only goes up to... I think it's only 15 anyway. But it will stop right near the player. So that's kind of cool. So I kind of want to get it to this point. Like, to this height. This height here. Which means I'm going to need to get a lot of dirt. As you can see, I've already munched like i've got like a full inventory here um of dirt or is that no sorry my bag's full of dirt um so yeah that's all i'm gonna do off camera is just literally just fill this all in and make it flush because i want to kind of just put some um farms stroke b b hives down here for now at least but you just do this and it's really quick. And all you got to do is just aim it at the block. Um, I'm, I am I could have sworn that, that you can do like f like a big square at a time. Maybe that, that's the exchange block, uh, the exchange tool. Um, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But for the top, of, this is way easier. Like I'm placing like 15 odd blocks at once. So that's 15 times as fast, right? And I don't even have to move. I just aim. And I'm done. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing. 
off camera. So there you go. There's there's a little bit into um, building gadgets. I'm pretty sure it's building gadgets, right? Um, have a play about. Have a mess about. It may help you out. Do some terraforming, building, you name it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to help you. Um, and there's a lot more to it than what I've shown. Um, I, I wish I could have shown that surf. I mean, that surface. Uh, let me do it one more time. It's like I'm trying to aim it and it's not actually doing it. See, I, I don't know. But you, you get the idea. So this is a really, really handy tool. And uh, I can't live without it when I'm doing big, big, like terraforming projects like this. This is awesome. And this is definitely the way to go if you want to get a lot done in a shorter space of time. So hopefully this helps you out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy. Dibs out. Thank you.